Hey, hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, Alexia, today we are talking about something that is very close to your heart. <laughs> and your heart as well. Yeah. Um, you love going there. Don't start lying to me on my face directly like that. Lying to my face. Sorry. Lying to my face <laughs> directly like that. <laughs> yeah. So today we are going to talk about an American business that is called Costco. And before we begin, I do want to clarify that even between Americans, there is there's some discussion, there's some arguments about if you say Costco or Costco. Yeah, my student, he asked me yesterday if it was Costco because of the T, because it's C-O-S-T-C-O, -C -O, right? Yeah, so technically it would be like cost, like the price, and then co, like company. company. So I imagine the more correct way to say it would be Costco. So hard, Costco. But it is a little bit difficult. So, at least everyone in my family, all my friends, we say Costco. Costco, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now that we have that difficulty out of the way, Alexia, tell me about Costco. What is it? What do you like about it? It's like Disney. Okay. A, <laughs> that's. <laughs> I disagree, but explain. It's uh, it's like a grown-up Disney, meaning that you go there and you can find everything. 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 I can't make it more detailed because if you need a Christmas tree, you have there all over the year. If you need a new TV, you have there all over the year. Okay. If you need to buy anything to your house, You'll find there. Okay. So can I correct two things really quick? First, when you're saying, I cannot say with enough detail, that's totally fine. But we have a really great phrase for that in English. You can say, I cannot exaggerate enough. Okay. Cool. I was trying to find in my head this phrase, but I was like, okay, I won't get it right. So let me do it my way. And it worked. Which is always a good strategy. Yes. Secondly, when you were saying all over the year, that just, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't sound totally natural to a native English speaker. You could say throughout the year. Throughout. Or you could say the entire year. The entire year. Or the whole year. Okay. <laughs> so you have a lot of options, but all over the year, it just sounds a little strange. Okay. Cool. Cool. So you were saying it's an amazing place like Disney. Can yeah, you be a it, little more specific? But people would think, okay, you can find all of this in Walmart, right? What's yes. the difference? The difference is price and quantity. Yes. So if you are looking for a new TV any kind of TV, you find there for a better price. Don't ma don't ask, ask me why. I just know that there you have the better price. For example, um, Apple Watch Series 4. Usually, you're going to find it for $400 more or less. There, it's 300 and something something. <laughs> yes, and Alexia is very up to date <laughs> with the prices of the Apple Watch. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so just a little bit of background on Costco. It's an American company or is founded by American founders. It is the second largest retailer in the world. So Walmart, number one, Costco, number two. But it is a huge, huge company and extremely profitable. Yeah. So if you want to go to Costco to buy things like for example, us, for this two weeks that we're staying here in Daniel Island, we went there to buy food because it's uh, the perfect, um, how can I, it's uh, like the perfect, perfect uh, what? option yeah. for us. It's a great option. Yes. Um, and then if you go there to buy food, you'll only be able to buy 
you will only be able you will only be able to buy large or big quantities, right? Yes. So a good way to say this is you can only buy in bulk. And what? In bulk. In bulk. Yeah, in bulk means in large quantities. Yeah, you're not going to be able we, you will not going to be able to buy <laughs> what? <laughs> you won't be able to buy <laughs> one bread. One piece of bread. Yeah, one piece of bread. This is so hard. I don't know why you guys say that. Piece of bread. One I don't bread. either, but it's the way we say it. And it's a very common mistake for you and all of our students. When talking about bread in English, we don't say a bread. I always hear Alexia and many, everyone. Yes, all Brazilians <laughs> say, mmm, that's a very nice bread. And piece that just bread. sounds ridiculous to English speakers. We say a nice piece of bread. Okay. Yeah. So just let me explain the business model a little bit. So Costco, they make their money by selling a lot of stuff, but in super large quantities. So you are not going to find, I don't know, let's say one piece of meat or one cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. You have to buy 20 cheeseburgers. Yeah. A hundred cheeseburgers. <laughs> Or 72 quiches. <laughs> yes. So I was actually looking right here, Alexia. We have our receipt <laughs> from Costco. Just some of the cool things you can get. We bought 72 mini quiches for, do you remember how much? I think it was $13. Ah, gente, cadê o quiche? Uh, Do you want me to find it? 72 mini quiches for $13. That is, I can't do the math in my head, but <laughs> that is super, super and cheap. And the quiches are so good. Yeah, they're extremely good. We bought 20 salmon burgers for $5.99. <laughs> Meu Deus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wine, all the wine there as well, you can buy for very, very good price. So anything that you want, basically. Yeah. But to be part of Costco, to go there and buy stuff, you need to be a member, right? Yes, so it is a membership club, which is strange, but... I get it, I understand that. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it costs, but you pay an annual fee. Uh, fifteen, seventeen uh, dollars for a year. That's it. Yeah, I think so. I was imagining it was a little more. No. Huh. I think so. Yeah, I think it's more like forty or fifty. Either way, if you shop there, just a few times a year, it's probably worth it. So a, a couple of things that I really love about Costco. First, super practical. It's kind of weird if you're going to the grocery store every week to buy the same thing when you can go to Costco once a month and get it for way, way cheaper. Yeah, two times a month, I would say. Hmm. Depends how <laughs> coordinated your plans are. <laughs> yeah. Second so. thing I love about Costco is it is a linguistic paradise for me as someone that loves languages every time i go to costco without fail i hear someone speaking a language that i don't know what language that is which is impressive for me normally i can say oh they're speaking mandarin oh he's speaking russian every time i go to costco <laughs> i think what the hell is he speaking <laughs> and then foster starts to follow this person <laughs> Just to see if he can understand. But one thing is true. Lots of Brazilians. Yes, we saw many Brazilians in Costco last week. And for some reason, Alexia, normally when you see Brazilians in the U.S., you are super excited and open to being like, Oi, to the bang. <laughs> This time I didn't want to because I look at them like very surprised that I w was listening, hearing Portuguese, but the girl looked at me and told her mom... The girl looked at me? Yeah, looked at me and told her mom, 
Mãe, eles estão olhando estranho pra gente. Tipo... Sério? Aham. Uh -huh. That's why I didn't talk to them. Oh. I was just imagining you were so excited about whatever thing you were looking you at. You know Costco. me. I would ask everything about them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the third thing that I think is amazing, they don't use plastic bags. Yeah, which is very smart because they have everything in super large quantities, which means they just have the boxes, boxes that they recycle. So when you check out, they give you all of their stuff in old boxes that they are just reusing. And it's perfect for you because you put it inside your car, nothing breaks, and you go back home, everything is okay, and no plastic bags, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are visiting the United States Go or to Costco. <laughs> many of the other countries where Costco now exists. United Kingdom, Mexico, Canada. There's one in Japan. Yeah. They're everywhere now. One day, Brazil. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> But I would recommend take a day off from the outlet and go to Costco. If you're staying for like a month and you want to save some money, it's a good way to do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here... You are with this new idea of Costco inside your head. Go to Google, search everything about it, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Guys, have a great week. We love you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, bye.